Roly Winklow. He's like this colossal figure in the world of bodybuilding, like seriously massive. People even gave him the nickname, The Beast. We're talking about a guy who's among the biggest bodybuilders out there. Back in the day, he was like a giant among men. When he stepped on that competition stage, he weighed over 300 pounds. His arms were unreal and he was famous for his arms. 24 inch arms, can you believe it? Those biceps were just massive and people couldn't stop staring at those triceps. They were out of this world. In 2021, at the IFBB Yamamoto Pro, he took second place. Second place finisher and runner-up, And his fans were all like, this guy's gonna win the Mr. Olympia someday. But here's the twist. That turned out to be his last show. A few years down the line, Roly Winkler went through some tough times. A nasty shoulder injury and some health issues, and he lost most of that muscle mass he was famous for. When his fans see him now for the first time, they're like, Hey Roly, what happened? You okay? It's because he's lost all that muscle, about a hundred pounds of it, and he looks way skinnier. It's, it's very hard for me exactly to hear that exactly every day. It is, it is painful, but what you can do about it? It's hurting me. I can't even train. It is, it is hard, but it is what it is. Back in 2004, this dude was in a super serious car crash. And it was touch and go for a while. During his recovery, he had this moment of realization like, man, I'm wasting my potential here. So at the ripe age of 27, he decided to go all in on a career in fitness. His first time stepping onto the big stage was in 2005 at the World Championship. When he hit 32, he thought, all right, time to go for that pro card. He'd been doing really well as an amateur for years, so he entered the 2009 NPC Arnold Amateur Championships and won it, earning his pro card. The next year in 2010, he competed in the Arnold Classic and snagged seventh place. In the same year, Rowley participated in the prestigious bodybuilding competition, Mr. Olympia, where he secured the 14th position. Years passed and he got super ripped like seriously shredded. He just kept on getting bigger and bulkier as the years rolled on. With every single rep, every day that passed, and each year that went by, he turned into an absolute freak. Rowley's been in more than 52 competitions in his lifetime, and he's even cracked the top five at the legendary Mr. Olympia multiple times. But the year that really stood out was 2018. In that amazing year, he took home first place at the Prague Pro, fourth at the Arnold Classic Ohio, and landed a solid third at Mr. Olympia. The third place award, the Olympia bronze medal. In that same event, he took home the People's Champion Award. This is our first people's champion. 
Rolly Winkler. And his biggest career achievement was winning the prestigious Arnold Classic Australia in 2018. Taking first place, his first Arnold Classic win. He started here in Australia with his very first pro show. He said he was going to win one day, and he just did, ladies and gentlemen. Early winter! Every day, he was getting stronger and more ripped. All the fans were just blown away by how massive and shredded Rowley was becoming. He was consistently making it into the top 10 in every competition he entered. Everything was fine until this happened. The long tendon on your bicep that go in your shoulder was loose. Because it was loose, um, I got um, like like um, the bone mm -hmm. in, in your shoulder, it, it's like, it's go away. I was still training heavy. The space in the bone was not enough. And yeah. he got away and I lose bone space. I lose bone and I had to take the uh, long tendon from the shoulder put on my bicep and make space in my shoulder. That's my injury. Most pain what I got is when you sleep, mm -hmm. it, was, it was hurting me. And what about when you were training, during the training, did you have any issues with it? I can't even train. More than one year I don't train anymore. Mm. And now the movement is better mm. and the pain is gone. But still, I can train heaviness. I have to have your body from, hey guys, I go off the stage now. And yes. I don't have to say that and, and I feel bad because I just, uh, I just move and I got the injury and I have time to do to, to, to everybody. I, I was, um, I was quiet about it because yeah. I was thinking myself, I will come back. But yeah. I will, if you see the injury, I was this, the pain and everything, and you don't think about your health issues, uh, what's best for you, man. Yeah. It, is, it is a little bit hard, but it is what it is. When people see Roly for the first time, they think, wow, you look pretty thin now. Where did all those gains go? But for a die-hard bodybuilding fan with knowledge will think, he appears incredibly healthy. His face looks like 10, 20 years younger. You can clearly spot the difference between how he looks now and during his competitive season. This is just how life works. Nothing remains the same forever. All the bodybuilders gonna have to face all of this one day. It's not only bodybuilders. Everyone has to deal with this reality someday. We can't predict what the future holds, so to tackle it head on, we need a strong and resilient mindset. Rowley's case, we genuinely hope he bounces back quickly, regains his health, and resumes his rigorous training routines. 
were eager to see him pursue his passion for bodybuilding with even more vigor in the days ahead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go,